Gamers, I Trooper, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install a seatbelt mod into your guys' 5M. Now, if you haven't already watched the previous 5M tutorials, they pretty much go in order of how I'd set up a 5M server. So be sure to check them out if you don't have a 5M server of your own. If you do, then you can carry on with this video. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is hit the first link down in the description below, and the only link that will bring you guys right here to the Z seatbelt mod on GitHub. This is my favorite. It has pretty much everything you need for a seatbelt mod. And obviously you can customize it with the config as well, which actually a few don't have, which is really surprising. But all you guys are going to want to do is go to code and then download as a zip. And from here, once that's done, if you open it on up and you go inside of the seatbelt main folder, you should be able to see inside of the seatbelt folder is pretty much your basic plugins for your guys' 5M. To install this, what you guys are going to want to do is open up your file explorer. Now, if you have installed your 5M server the exact same way as I did show you guys on the previous video, then all you guys are going to want to do is go to your C drive or your D drive, depending on if you had enough room on your C drive, FX server, then go to TX data, CFX default, and then resources. Now, you can, I guess, put this plugin inside of your cars, or you can make a separate subfolder, which is basically putting brackets in the front of it, so you can organize your mods. But tens, when it comes to... Uh, mods like this i tend to just leave them inside of the resources folder because they don't exactly correlate with anything and there's never going to be anything too similar so all i'm going to do for this is to grab our z seatbelt folder drag and drop it into our resources folder all you guys are going to want to do from here is you close the download now and copy and paste the z belt folder name go back to cfx default and open up your server.cfg from here I'm going to put it under cars because that is the closest it relates to on my permissions.cfg. So I'm going to click enter and then I'm going to type ensure and then I'm going to copy and paste Z belt. Before we finish and save our server.cfg, there's one more step. If we open our download back up, you should be able to see if you go back to the GitHub page that it gives you a line of code that we need to add to the top of our server.cfg. So all you guys are going to do is grab this right here on step three, copy and paste all of this, so control C, go back to your server.cfg, and then up here, just below your exec permissions.cfg, we're going to control V it there. And now we can save our server.cfg and load into our 5M server. Okay, so once you guys are in game, you now should be able to see once you hop inside a vehicle that there is a new symbol in the bottom middle of your screen. And all that means is basically that your seatbelt is not buckled. So to fix this, all you guys want to do is hit K and you should hear that sound of a seatbelt clicking in and the symbol will go away and now that means your seatbelt is on. Obviously when you crash into a tree now you'll no longer eject through the windscreen but it also makes it so you're more likely to crash through the windscreen if you don't have it buckled. So it really does add that other layer of realism on top of your 5M server and it's also great for if you guys are doing RP for example because it kind of stops people from driving erratically without putting a seatbelt on. And it means that if they don't put on, they'll fly through the windscreen and it makes your pursuits a lot easier. So, you know, it kind of is like a win-win. I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out all my other videos. And also check out the channel sponsor, Zap Posting, down in the description below at www.zapposting.com forward slash Highway Trooper. And use the code Highway Trooper, no capitals or spaces for 20% off your guys' next server with them. They have servers all the way from Minecraft down to 5M and to rare them and they also have gmod you can also get lifetime servers as well just a great place so be sure to check them out and other than that i'll see you guys in the next video cheers and goodbye